the 45th annual UBC Physics Olympics with over 700 BC high school students in grade 11 and 12 competing for gold. These four grade 12 students from Howe Sound Secondary have created a vacuum pump from scratch following the rules given to them by the UBC Physics Olympics Committee. Out of two cylinders and inside of each cylinder we have a piston that when we release a pin it uh, pulls the piston up creating an area of low pressure to draw air out of a one liter uh, container. The students competing show off their building challenge and get scored on their creative solution and its effectiveness. And inside uh, we used a just an o-ring and then we covered that in Vaseline because it can work as a lubricant as well as a sealant. These high schoolers are hoping after they graduate to pursue careers in the sciences and mechanics and they get their inspiration from their physics teacher who also competed in the UBC Physics Olympics when he was in high school. You, know, you always have a sense coming into the competition of like where your strengths and weaknesses are but you don't really find out for sure until you get to see what all the other teams have, have brought to the table. Other competitions include constructing of a marine ambulance, a device that floats on water and moves to the opposite side of the track with a cell phone attached to record the boat's total acceleration during the race. This event is about doing physics in a fun way, but most importantly to working with others, being inspired by creativity. The UBC Physics Olympics hopes that these competitions will inspire students to enter a career in science, as it's one of the largest and longest running high school physics competitions in North America. It's not about figuring things out on paper, it's about doing things. The more they can go and experience this firsthand, the better they can see the people who do it, the better they see, more they see the passion, they think can form a better view of what they want to do in the future. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.